Okay, morning and evening routine to stop watching porn. I'm Dr. Trish Lee in your 30 day challenge. Welcome back. Okay, so when we teach our brains to ease into the day and ease out of the day, our days are better. We don't have that hyper arousal or your brain kind of the energy going up, 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 up across the day. What happens is the energy smooths into the day. Of course, it's going to go up across the day, but then in the evening, you let it come down before it's time to get into bed. And so what that does is it helps your brain move through what's called circadian rhythms. Circadian rhythms, all of us have them. Our brains will speed up and slow down throughout a 24 hour cycle. So what we're trying to do is to facilitate that so that not only do you feel and perform better in the day, you can get to sleep, get an amazing night's sleep, where rest and recovery and cell regeneration happens when we're sleeping. So this not only is going to improve your sleep, but it's also going to make it so that your brain doesn't get into that hyper aroused state that needs to go into the screen to take the edge off. So it works like this. When you wake up, do not go on anything electronic for at least one hour. Yes, I said one hour. I know it's going to feel like an eternity at first, but it's going to become your favorite routine ever. Trust me. So what are you going to do in that hour? In that hour, you can make yourself some hot water with lemon. If you're not into teas, you can make chamomile tea or herbal teas that make your brain feel soothed and good and easing into the day. Then you can move on to coffee if you love coffee like I do. Yes, coffee's a stimulant, but you know what? The human condition's a difficult one. And if you're going to try to use all your adaptive behaviors, you might as, well, might as well have a little coffee while you're doing that, right? So if you enjoy coffee, make some coffee too, but after you've let your brain kind of wake up. So this is what you're going to do in that time. Meditation. Now that can just be a fancy term for sitting around doing nothing. But if you want, you can practice what is called an in the gap meditation from one of my favorite mentors, Dr. Wayne Dyer. If you don't know of him, look him up. He's amazing. He's passed on now, but absolutely amazing. And in the gap training is having a mantra. And you might've heard me say this before because I say it a lot, is that my mantra is, I'm one with the force, the force is with me. Yes, I borrowed it from Star Wars, why one and I? But the gap is between the sayings. So when I say I'm one with the force, gap, the force is with me. In that gap, there's nothing. I'm training my brain to allow gaps of nothingness. And I'm not even kidding, even just starting to say that phrase, I can feel my brain downshift because I've said it thousands of times. So you can practice an in the gap meditation in the morning, just teaching your brain not to think about anything and to have empty open space while you're awake. And practicing that skill over time is going to serve your brain forever. Then you can move on to kind of some light thinking thinking about your day or just letting things come to you. Not really thinking, but letting thoughts flow. Any that you think you need to act on, you can just put down on paper. I always have napkins around. I know there's one on the other side of that monitor because in the morning I usually have a napkin sitting next to me. Yes, for my coffee. And so then I will put down thoughts. Like if it pops into my brain, something I need to do, I'll just put it on the napkin and just let the thoughts flow. Then brain training. I'm gonna talk about this in an upcoming video. Training your brain with technology is one of the most powerful and easiest ways to bring it out of these extremes into that middle speed. Brain training in the morning, once your brain is awake and alert, is an amazing habit to build because what it does is it changes your baseline of hyper arousal every single day. So having brain training in that morning, once your brain's woken up, can really, really serve you. Having quiet time, you know, being the parent of so many kids in the morning, it's like quiet is the most delicious thing ever. I sit there and it's quiet. It's amazing. Giving yourself that empty time and space where there's nothing and you can just sit in that space will teach you to ease into your day. Doing the same thing in the evening in the reverse will teach your brain how to calm down off of thinking and going and being and doing. It can calm down sitting on your couch doing nothing, doing another meditation, doing brain training again, but making sure you're doing it at least two hours before bed. Now, here's another one. 
putting your electronics in a different room and making sure you don't go on them for at least an hour. I know what you're thinking. What am I going to do in that hour? You're going to do the same thing in reverse. You're going to go low lighting and you're going to teach your brain. It's going to go through these circadian rhythms. A book is a great thing. You know, if you want to watch TV, TV to me is different. Actually, science shows too that it's not as bad for you as computers or phones. So if you watch a show on the TV, something slow like Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, something real chill that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and then you turn it off and you don't click hole into something else, something with story structure, then reading a little bit of a book, laying in bed and just letting your brain and your mind wander and come down, that can help you ease in and out of your day. All optimal performers do some version of that. Not having your electronics in your bedroom, putting it somewhere else, going old school on an alarm clock can really serve you. Sleeping in a dark, cool room with no distractions, not falling asleep to electronics, all really good things for you. Okay, rock out a morning and a nighttime routine. Now, you know what I'm going to say next, right? Your action step for today is to plan it. We're not going to leave this to chance. Map it out. Put time frames on it. Teach yourself to do it. And then it will become something that you look forward to. Every morning when I get up, the thing I look forward to the most is that morning routine. And even when I'm running late, I do it. I sacrifice other things. I preserve that. I protect that. That morning routine is what allows me to feel good throughout the day. And I know it's going to do the same for you. So go rock it out. And until tomorrow, control your brain or it'll control you.